Three things I want to talk about today. They are killers for how you hold the club with your right hand. These are things that I see every single day on the range and in coaching. As soon as they're changed, it can make a massive difference to shot control. Hi, I'm Peter Knight, and I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you can. And today we're gonna to do that by helping you to hold the club more correctly in your right hand. The right hand is the sensing hand. Now, most right-handed golfers are naturally right-handed people, so you feel like you wanna have the power, the control, and the strength with that right hand. That's generally the thing that gets us into a bit of strife. So let's look at the three things that, while they'll feel quite uncomfortable to start with, unfamiliar is probably a better word, once you start to get used to them, they're gonna help you work a lot better. Let's start off with the biggest one. So by far the biggest error that I see with right hand grips is that when a player holds the club, they generally hold the club too much across the base of the fingers there because when I put the club across the base of my fingers and close my hand, it feels really strong. This is especially true of beginning golfers because it feels like the entire right hand's on the club now and I'm in a position to be able to utilize strength. As I mentioned earlier, the right hand's the controlling hand. So in actual fact, we want the, the bottom of the grip to run across these two joints here, which is the first joints on my uh, forefinger and uh, middle finger and ring finger, and also the, the end joint here on my forefinger. So when the club sits on my hand like this, and I close my hand over so that my left thumb is now gonna run through the middle of the palm of my right hand, I'm gonna feel like there's a pocket in my right palm that's really not in contact with anything. And that's absolutely correct. When you first do that, if, you, if that's not the way you normally grip the club, that's gonna feel like it changes the balance, the feeling, the strength, and the control of your right hand. So if you're feeling any or all of those things, we're probably on the right track. So now when I hold the club in the fingers, you can see that my, my thumb is actually, my right thumb is actually slightly on the left side of the grip, and that's absolutely correct too. The second thing that I see as an error with the right hand is that when I hold the club here, my, or sorry, when I, when I hold my hand here, my right wrist is vertical. If I move my right hand that way, it's horizontal. When I'm gripping the club and grip it correctly, I want that right wrist to be quite vertical there. Now the reason for that is that when I swing the club back and through, I want to be able to have my wrists work nice and freely and have control of this club head as well. But I'm having I've got control of the club head without trying to manipulate it or anything like that. In fact, at the moment, it's almost like the club's just fishtailing back and through. And as it fishtails back and through, my wrists, my left wrist and my right wrist are almost staying vertical. As I move back further and there's a little bit, you can see there's a little bit of rotation occurring with the club head, obviously my wrists aren't vertical, but I'm never trying to manipulate them as I go back and through. My right hand, as I, as I mentioned first up, is the sensing hand. And as it goes back and through, my right wrist needs to be able to bend backwards and I can sense how the club's being controlled. When we talk about sensing, that leads us to point number three of the three biggest things with the right hand that I see, and that is that if we come in closer, this knuckle here on my forefinger, when I hold the club correctly, that is right behind the grip here now. So as I move the club back and through, with that, that knuckle there right behind the grip, I can sense the movement of the club with through that knuckle there. Now the majority of players that I see hold the club with that knuckle underneath the grip. And then when the club swings back and through, there's generally a gap. So here's a fourth thing. When I hold the club with my uh, right hand, the, the base of my forefinger, base knuckle on my forefinger and the knuckle on my thumb are quite close together. That'll secure the club as I get back to the top of the swing, the club's not likely to move around as much. When that knuckle's under, I've got a gap there and the club is actually, it can actually move in my hand quite easily because the stresses that are on us when we're swinging the golf club mean that it can move. So they're the three key things that I see, or actually I mentioned four, that are involved with how you're holding the club with the right hand. So we've got that, first of all, the club needs to run through the fingers. 
The second is that when you hold the club, thumb and forefinger are quite close together. And the third, the forefinger is behind the grip. Remember, the right hand's the sensing hand. It's monitoring the movement of the club as opposed to making it. Once you get the club in the right hand correctly, as unfamiliar as that feels, it should give you results almost immediately. You certainly have a lot more control of the sensing movement of the club as it goes back and through. It's true for every shot from your drives to your little chip shots. Give it a go and, you, and learn how much more control you can have than maybe what you've already got.